in the time after King Arthur. Men of Clay. The Marshmen caught two more Viking units the next night in the same manner, but a few men escaped, and the remainder of the Viking units wised up. Even so, fully a fifth of the Viking forces had now been destroyed. However, the remainder strengthened their resolve and were not to be caught unaware again. They soon replaced their fallen comrades with units from the shore camp. A trick had to be devised to stall the Viking incursion until the men could be freed from the harvest. A trick that would cost no men. Remember that old castle we used for the centennial celebration about ten years back? The castle which we cannot now man for lack of men? The castle that contains the ceremonial statues, our men of clay? Yes, I remember it well. It's quite an idea indeed. Send a few men over there and set up the statues as if they were castle guards. And indeed they will appear so from a distance when the Vikings arrive. Be sure to move the statues about from time to time and hang out the king's flag as if I am there. Leave but one man to keep the fires going as a sign of life. The steamy warmth of the cold lives of statue armies and legions of scarecrows will protect us. Yes, the Vikings will then stop and mass for a while until they discover the deception. At least we'll know where they are, a distinct advantage to us. So finally, after waiting some weeks, the Vikings storm the castle and conquer an army so scared that it is turned to stone and skeletons. For many days after this, the Vikings were badly shaken. But eventually they pushed deeper into Cornwall and ever closer to Camelot. 